Ladies and gentlemen, my name's O Tyler, and today we're going to be taking a look at this on the screen. The Ninjutsu Origin 1X Wireless Ultralight Gaming Mouse. Ninjutsu is a company I've never even heard of, but was a martial art. However, it turns out they do mice now, which is pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of good things to talk about with this mouse. Type-C wireless charging, we've got a proprietary wireless system, which has um, been built specifically for this mouse. It's a 66 gram mouse, which, which I'm happy about, is ergonomic. How good's that? We've had so many different ambidextrous shapes that have gone wireless, uh, you, you know, the Viper Ultimate, Model O Wireless, you've got G Pro Super Light, and I'm thinking to myself, hold on a minute, what about ergo shapes? Where's, where's the love? Where's the love for ergo shapes? Turns out Ninjutsu, they feel that love. They, they feel that, that pain, not having a, not having a, a wireless shape to, to, you know, go to. Anyway, let's get into this unboxing, shall we? Got my many different camera angles here, I'm up here, I'm down here, and I'm probably on the GoPro as well, if you can see that. Let's get this bad boy unboxed, shall we? Let's see what's inside. First thing to note, this packaging right here, this cool, like, Samurai design, probably not Samurai, probably, oh well, come on, out you come. Okay. Okay. Uh. Ooh. It's smaller than I expected? Deary me. That, wow, I, I must admit, I got it out next to the EC2 because I thought it was going to be a comparable shape, but my goodness, this is way smaller than I was expecting. In terms of the rest of the unboxing experience, we have a braided USB Type-C cable with a little rubbery thingy to keep it in place. Smells good. We've also got Type-C charger, completely unbranded there which is always a bonus, although I may forget what this is um, attached to. That could be a problem. In here as well, we have, that is the, I don't know what this is. Is this some sort of extender, I guess? Little Ninjutsu branded thing there, which is pretty cool. Got that too, a bit more phone to keep it safe. Got a quick start guide here. How to set it up, how to change DPI, adjust the report rate, and how do you know if the battery is fully charged. Pretty good. And spare pair of feet included. That's a nice little ad. So, the mouse itself. First impressions, it's stubby. I, I was expecting a little bit more length. I've spoken many times about how length can be an important factor when it comes to um, how you aim with a mouse, um, especially if you're using your wrist, for doing left and right adjustments. I did mention this on the Model D- review that I did, but the mouse itself, um, very light, as you can probably guess, for 66 grams. It's even lighter than my XM1, which I'm currently maining, and is a, is a weight I'm more familiar with, but this thing... Jeez, it feels really, really light in the hand. I'll say it again, the length. I was expecting more. Um, the, the hump itself feels rather small in comparison to the EC2. Um, notably as well, you might be able to see here, it's a flatter. It's a flatter top as well, up here. So um, it definitely feels a lot smaller in the hand. I was expecting a few more nuances that were based off the EC2 because both of those mice are based off of the same shape. Um, but that may take a little bit of adjusting. Switches for the Ninjutsu Origin 1X is the Case GM8.0 switch. Um, I don't know much about this switch, however, I can tell you now it's a lovely and clicky switch. Um, I can just about press this in any portion of the button without any issues whatsoever. And have a listen to that. That's beautiful. It's at this point that I realised that my partner was about to play Overwatch with her Cherry MX Blues in the background. So the rest of this video will be covered using voiceover. The scroll wheel on this mouse is very smooth and tactile. 
and is less loud compared to the EC2 like I've done here. I have no build quality issues with the scroll wheel itself and it remains in place if you were to move it from left and right with your finger. Speaking of build quality, the build quality on the Ninjutsu Origin 1X seems solid throughout with only weaknesses to be found on the underside of the mouse. Um, in addition to this obviously there are seams which connect the top of the mouse to the sides and these seem to be uh, held solidly in place as well. Something I praised the Ninjutsu for in this review was the fact that there is little to no travel at all on the mouse 1 and mouse 2 buttons. Side buttons on this mouse are good as well, albeit maybe a little too small depending on your personal preference. There is little to no pre or post travel when pressing the buttons in and out, and when wiggling the mouse buttons um, doesn't appear to be any build quality issues there either. These side buttons are far superior compared to the ones found on the Zowie EC2, despite the fact that these are a revised version which were previously seen on the EC2A. The buttons on the Origin 1 stand out compared to the EC2 for their tactility and their lack of pre-travel. The mouse has a length of 122mm, a grip width of 58mm and a height of 40mm. The DPI increments on this mouse are 400, 800, 1600 and 3200. Due to the fact that the mouse cannot be adjusted using software, it's not possible to achieve increments of 50 on this mouse. The coating on this mouse is comparable to the EC2 in the sense that if you don't keep it clean then it will leave streaks and marks. So there's definitely room for improvement here. This mouse has an estimated battery life of 48 hours which is considerably smaller compared to other wireless mice such as the Model O which boasts 71 hours and the Razer Viper Ultimate which has 70 hours of battery life. Instead of a conventional 4 feet layout, the Ninjutsu has 3 feet with one very large one at the front of the mouse. When pushing the mouse into the mouse pad, I couldn't feel these feet even when I was pushing quite hard. The feet material on this mouse is an uncoated PTFE and from what I've seen so far, the glide on this mouse is superb. The liftoff distance on this mouse is set to less than a millimeter, and unfortunately that cannot be changed on this mouse. Ninjutsu may wish to look at the way that Zowie implements their LOD settings, which are done without software. You can do this simply by holding in a button when plugging the mouse into your computer. One criticism I do have of the shape is the fact that the right hand side where your ring finger would sit doesn't have any tapering whatsoever. Uh, what this means is that your ring finger may slip off the side when you're trying to uh, fingertip grip the mouse or if you're trying to uh, lift off the mouse off your mouse pad. An easy way to solve this would be to have the front of the mouse flare out towards the sides. An example of this can be seen on the XM1 which is just to the right of the screen. Something that can definitely be improved on this mouse is the coating. Even after only a few hours of use, you can see predominant fingerprint marks on the mouse 1 and 2 buttons, as well as the uh, side grips as well. Uh, so do bear this in mind if you are looking at purchasing this mouse. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for someone that has sweaty hands. Something else that also needs improving is the actual connector for the USB Type-C cable. Uh, obviously when putting this into the mouse it feels very creaky and requires a lot of force to operate. Here's a quick clip of me showing this in action. Have a listen and have a feel at just how much of a, of a challenge this is to, to get in here. Like, th this isn't a very... unless I have some sort of defect copy, you can hear this. That doesn't feel natural. I'm not 100% sure if this is just an issue on my copy or if it's intentional, but Mouse 2 seems to stick out a little compared to Mouse 1, and I often find myself catching my ring finger on that little curve that it creates, it's quite sharp. Um, this doesn't seem to be a case on the EC2 or on the XM1 because the buttons are flush with the side of the mouse. Let's head over to CSGO and see if that has any effect on us in game. be 
very curious to see what you guys come out with next, because this one here, from what I can see so far, is a fantastic, fantastic house. I must say, I'm, I can't fault this mouse on first impression. There's uh, some good things to be said about this. Uh, the only thing that remains to be seen really is the longevity um, of the build quality as well as the battery life. But on first impressions, having just used the mouse and been able to click some heads pretty easily, I've got I've got nothing but good praise for this mouse. Um, on first impressions, I think this will be a fantastic um consideration for anyone that is a fan of obviously the ec2 shape or the glorious d and you just can't wait for glorious to get around to making a wireless copy of their mice and besides that guys it's been fantastic bringing you this uh, new and exciting product from ninjutsu uh, it's worth noting as well i'm not sponsored in any way I uh, did purchase this mouse with my own money. So from what I've seen in my initial testing, I can't fault this mouse at the moment. The shape is a fantastic. The wireless tech, although proprietary, seems to be fantastic. Um, no complaints from me there. All that remains to be seen really is the longevity of the mouse and the battery life to see if that can hold up to the 48 hours that they have. Um, claimed uh, but other than that I really do hope that you guys enjoy this video I'm going to try and focus on making these short quick and snappy videos compared to my long scripted reviews um, as you guys seem to watch these reviews a lot more than the others so I'm just going to have to go with the trend there um, be sure to check out my socials in the link description uh, check out my most recent review of the Zowie EC2 a familiar um, ergonomic shape using that button just up there and until next time, guys, I do hope that you'll stay safe in the ongoing circumstances. And until next time, farewell.